Hi, my name is Clint Smith. I'm from Leica Geosystems, and I'm continuing my little mini-series on the Rugby 600s. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Rugby 680. This is our high end of the Rugby 600 series, so this is one that has more bells and whistles than all the other ones. The most important thing about this unit is we have a digital input for entering the grade. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it today, so I'm gonna go through some of the features that we have right now. I'll start it up here. I have it mounted on the tripod. It's always used when you're using this outside. You definitely have to have a laser receiver for this. The advantage of this rugby is it's got a higher accuracy and also a longer working distance. It adds to this not only horizontal, but also the ability to put in a digital slope which makes it a little bit more accurate, a little bit more precise when you're working with doing landscaping outside and you wanna have a little bit of a repeatability as you enter in a grade. I'll show you a little bit of the features of this, of this unit so you get an idea how to use it, uh, it's, but it's pretty straightforward. On the display right now, I have no grade in either X or the Y axis, which you can see on my little pieces of paper as I give you this short demo. But if I want to enter an axis, all I have to do is hit the little angle button. The backlight comes on on the display. And I simply enter a display or a grade by pushing the up button to where I want it. And it's now, let's say it's about 1%, which is fine for my demonstration. But I want to at the same time enter a grade on the Y axis. And this time I'll go down about 0.2%, 0.3%, just for an example. And then I push the button one more time here, the angle button. Now what's happening is little motors are driving the, the laser to adjust it to the grades that I entered. And then once it starts spinning again, you'll see that even at 1%, I'm just a little bit above my line on the X axis and on the Y axis, I'm a little bit below my line, indicating my positive grade on this axis in my negative grade on the y-axis. And I can change it at any time. When it's in this low mode, then the auto leveling is turned off so the unit can keep on running and ensure that you're getting the grade that you need to get. If I want to go back to zero, I just simply push it again and I can adjust my grade back to zero by clicking on the button and watching my grade go in on the digital display. That takes care of that axis and then I'll come down on my other, back up, and I enter. Now I have zero grade in both, and we're both back at level. One of the things that you also want to know is if I enter a grade, let's say I want to come back tomorrow and do another job. I can enter my grade for today, I'm going to do a minus 0.4, I'm going to do a minus 0.4 here, or plus. I enter, I let it go to my grade. The unit will recall this grade even if I shut it off. So I'll let it go back to a zero. My grade right now is plus 0.4, for example, and minus 0.35. I am done with my work for the day. I shut the unit off. I take my tripod home, I whatever, I come in the next day, I set it back up, I turn it on to allow the stuff leveling, and as soon as I get the slope showing up on my unit, I can push and hold the angle button for 1.5 seconds or so, and it automatically will go back to the last grade that I used. Now it's going to go to those grades that I set yesterday, and I don't have to go back and look at them, and it'll automatically come back to that grade and start spinning. And this memory feature that I just described even works if we remove the battery, and I'll show you that just now. Unit starts back up, it's at zero, it automatically goes back and I took the battery pinning. That's a cool feature of this Rugby 680. So again, the advantage of this unit is 
It allows you to go out and enter a precise grade that's repeatable from one day to the next. You just simply record what you need or you know what you need, and you don't have to do any kind of guesswork. You enter in the grade that you want to use. It can be used for grades in both X and Y, or simply zero grade as a flat uh, plane at 360 degrees. Very simple, very straightforward, and yet very accurate and very precise. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I hope you've seen the other series, because if you haven't, you can go back and you can learn more about our Rugby 600. It's most useful for you and where you can use them. I hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you.